I'm Rachel Winard, and I'm the founder of Soapwalla, which is a skincare company. I have systemic lupus. Um, I was diagnosed in 2002 um, at its worst point, which was in law school. My skin was so reactive, I couldn't even put water on it. I was desperate to get some relief. Your skin is your largest organ, and it's an immune functioning organ, so it really is sort of like a canary telling you when other things are more fundamentally going wrong. So I started my process of trying to figure out what the hell was going on with me. So I went to, God, I don't even know actually how many doctors I went to at the beginning. I just kept getting bounced around from one to another to another. I remember the first doctor, because I had extreme fatigue, decided he should test me for what was then called juvenile diabetes and is now called type 1 diabetes. And that was it. So when that came back negative, he was like, mm, I don't know. Um, you should go see someone else. <laughs> so then I went to another doctor who was like, it's in your head, you should see a shrink. And then I saw a series of doctors who said something along those same lines, including one who was like, well, you're a girl. You know, emotions can get really hard at times. I think really what you need to do is figure out how to manage your stress. <laughs> it's like, There's something wrong with me. <laughs> I know this fundamentally. And probably my 15th doctor, was this great man, he was 85, he was getting ready to retire, and um, I think I was the last patient he saw. He was working at the Columbia University like Student Medical Center, and he asked me questions that nobody had asked before. He really listened to me, and he helped me sort of figure out that all these crazy things that were happening might actually be connected. Um, and he was the one who finally said, you know, I'd like to test you for lupus. Has anyone tested you for lupus? And I said, no, I don't even know what that thing is. <laughs> so he explained it to me. Um, when the test came back positive, he sat down with me and walked me through step by step what this would mean. Um, we tried a bunch of different protocols um, to get my liver, my lungs, and my blood under control. Um, when none of those less invasive measures worked. I was constantly in a flare-up, basically. Um, my doctors prescribed uh, chemotherapy. I figured if we couldn't get it under control, we had to just get rid of it. Um, I was on chemo. I was on three chemo drugs for a year, and I was taking 12 pills. Um, I knew I couldn't live like that, so I ran away to India, and I studied with an Ayurvedic doctor for four months who got me better. Um, and now I'm living a pretty awesome life, um, medication-free.